With more than 500 homeless children in Roanoke City Schools, there's a big goal to get families help and solve the problem at the root. Joining us, United Way Roanoke Valley President and CEO Afita DeVries. And this is a model that was used to help end veteran homelessness right here in Roanoke that the United Way has adapted. That's right. Veterans homelessness was an issue that was top of mind for local leaders, those who are working to help uh, those in str who struggle in our community. And there was a recognition that looking at transitioning people from the streets to housing through shelters wasn't necessarily solving the problem. So we began to employ a strategy that's referred to as rapid rehousing to help the homeless population that's affected, primarily focused on the veteran population at first. And we were so incredibly successful with that concept, we recognized the potential to apply the same logic to other populations in the community. And rapid rehousing is essentially the notion that let's first help people get into permanent stable housing and then let's focus on, on addressing the underlying issues that cause them to be unstable in the first place. So now we have RISE and RISE is really solving the homeless problem at the root. So you're going to get these families a home and then give them the support services needed. That's right. Again, when you're thinking about the crisis that a child is in, going to school every day, not knowing where they're going to sleep at night, the solution isn't necessarily let's provide them with temporary shelter. The solution is first, let's get them into stable, permanent housing. Then let's figure out what has to happen so that their mom, their dad, their family has all of the underlying issues that cause them to be unstable in the first place addressed so that they can remain stable and to begin to perceive a future that is much more uh, bright and available to success than their current position would be. And as we've been talking through this over the last couple of weeks, it can be anything from just needing help with a month's rent or finding a job or just um, helping them with a substance abuse issue. That's right. You know, each individual family's needs are going to be unique to their family. And for many people, we know for sure that the lion's share of the community that's struggling with homelessness in our community, these, these are families that work, but they continue to struggle. For so many of them, it's simply needing to have access to a good, stable job. For others, it's issues that are deeper and more substantive, mental health challenges, domestic violence challenges, issues that require non-judgmental intervention. And RISE allows our community to rally around those families and their unique needs. So what is your message to the community over the next few weeks? Well, my message is pretty simple. It's this is an untenable position for our community to be in. It's an untenable position for our children to be in. And it is, to some very large degree, our responsibility to recognize that 600 children going without a home today means 600 adults in the future that will be far less stable and far less able to provide for themselves and to contribute to a community. We all have a collective responsibility to do something for these children, for them and for ourselves, for our future. This is an opportunity to make an investment in a solution, not a Band-Aid. And that's what I'd like this community to consider doing now. Okay, you can give right now on WSLS.com or you can watch the WSLS 10 Cares Rise Up Roanoke Telethon June 29th from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. We'll have a phone bank along with special programming that day. Our 30-minute special starts at 7.30 p.m. Your gift could give a child stability and security before school starts.